Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Harmony. I'm a twin flame expert helping twin flames around the globe face fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Welcome to my weekly glow show. Today's topic is twin flames are rapidly harmonizing into and restoring balance. And I'm seeing this timeline shift that we went through this portal over the last week through the new moon um, in Cancer around that 12th, 13th year of July, um, 2018. And so with the energy timelines having shifted and it's creating this kind of combustion of everything coming in and restoring on every level. So one of the reasons that the divine masculine is returning kind of like um, overnight is to really help restore um, the and keep and plug energy into the purpose and in the missions. And so for the ones that I'm seeing that it seems to be in the most mission oriented or mission focused is where the divine masculine, and I won't even say just divine masculine, just say reunion because it's both, you know, it doesn't matter um, masculine or feminine, just let's just use the concept twins in that. And so um, what in that, so what we talk about harmony, as I was saying, it is the restoration of the balance and it's the restoration of the balance that needs to take place in self for that. It is the restoration of the balance that needs to take place within the twin flame dynamic, which means the differences between you and your twin. It is in the restoration of the collective energy that is now we're retemplating the future so that we're having to put all of the what we've learned into um, forward motion in order to recreate the new paradigms for the future because we signed up for that. And the big one I'm going to talk about here in a minute is the generational curses. That we're breaking down those belief systems, those patriarchs, those uh, old programming and old uh, subconscious programming that has came down from generation to generation that we don't even know that we've been programmed from or with or from them. So I'm going to elaborate more on that one in a minute. But um, with that, I want to just mention that when it comes to like our twin, let's talk about like um, this from a standpoint of wherever you're at. Okay, whether they're hard, they're coming in and or not. We know we've been going through the push pull purge and we have to do a certain amount of personal work to purify the karma, to complete our soul's evolutionary contract, to stay moving forward and in growth at all times, to expand. And if the energy is ever changing, that means we have to go with the flow or we get stuck and we start creating resistance to change. And then we also link and we create a, the attachments to things. Say, for instance, in this case, most of the time it's the uh, one twin is attached to the other twin and they have not necessarily totally let go of them. And because of maybe what's happening in their with their twin coming in is the mere reflection to point to self and say, this is what you need to learn on you. They're not looking at their self. They're only looking at what their twin is doing to them. And they're staying in a 3D mode with that and not seeing the innocence in that. And they're still in a hurt and rejected mode. And if that's where you are, that's saying that they're still teaching you exactly what they need to teach you in the paradigm of yourself. And so the key for that is for you to be able to like let go and make a commitment and say yes to this journey to you. And to like um, let go of the resistance that you need the attachment of anything or anyone to keep you happy and fulfilled. So I'm seeing, you know, like I said, a lot of the divine feminines are shifting to purpose and I'm seeing a lot of them being stuck too. They want to shift to purpose, but they don't even know where to start. They don't even know what to do or what's the next step and how do I, you know, um, how do I put that into motion because I don't have the skills or the knowledge or the wisdom? I know I want fulfillment, but I don't know how to even align with it. So we have, I'm going to backtrack that. We have people that are still hurt, that are still feeling rejected. And we have divine feminines that um, are basically went through the hurt and let go of the rejection. I have detached from the twin. Now they're wanting to find passion, but they're stuck because, uh, I'm sorry, they're wanting to find purpose and put their need to put their passion in the purpose and they're making that attempt but they don't know the the next step in that and they're being stuck in that space so that's one of the things where i'm being shown from guidance to help assist in this space and expand my own skills 
to help other people unlock and tap into those mission spaces to plug leaks for them to help offer services that is coming down the pike for me here um, that I actually am launching and it'll be coming more publicly soon. Um, but basically I am, you know, helping them, you know, like get their mission and package up their story, um, be able to uh, monetize their message, be able to brand their purpose, to be able to help them put their story in a book and from start to finish and get that launched, to be able to say, you know, I want to be a light worker and I want to be a coach and I want to understand how to clear past lives and I want to do energy healing and I want to, you know, be a coach and I want to, you know, maybe not even work with twins. So to expand that, her, you know, expand that side of things and to be able to help them get into that because this is where a lot of things are being stuck. Now, that's also why some of the divine masculine are returning, but there, there's this fine line of them. You needing to find some fulfillment within yourself before they return to plug the leak of, of the mission in motion too, because you still got to get the self lessons that are in that. Some of the self lessons is to step outside and ask for help you know, um, and to let go of that. So realizing in the self, we still need to be making sure where you're at in that space is to, you know, purge in the karma and clearing karmic contracts and understanding that you have vows, karmic vows that you've taken on. Maybe you still need to be learning. Maybe you've been breaking and canceling those things, but you can, there's some you can release and there's some that will not release until you get the lesson as being able to identify what that is, get that lesson, see the innocence of your twin pointing the reflection to you but detaching from the fact that they're doing to you something whenever in all reality it's within you that needs healed. And they're only helping you do that, even if it's in 5D or in the distance or the separation. There's more that takes place in the separation than there usually is in the 3D realm until you've evolved into that space. Now, how fast that happens and all of this is based on free will. Free will of how fast you're willing to surrender and detach from the, these things. And detach means surrendering the resistance to what you need to do to continue your path, to get an alignment, to um, say yes to your purpose, to say yes to you. And to know that, that it's you and you that needs harmony and balance and restoration and peace and happiness and fulfillment and joy. Before you're going to get in the vibration of matching your counterpart there and to realize and be open in that space to allow, you know, you've got your eye on this bullseye. And that's what I'm trying to teach people to lose that label and to lose the, the old ways of the twin flame even concept and thinking because it's like this bullseye and it's like trying to get like this needle through like this bit, pinhole and it isn't going to fit. And so because of that, you're creating resistance and you're hanging on to this concept. It's like another layer of letting go. Think about the memories, the, you know, and it goes so deep, the memories, the connection to like uh, things that are around you, so, you know, it's maybe, you know, old text messages, old, like just the list could go on here. Things you're hanging on to from the past. It could be out of your twin dynamic, the same thing in life, you know, having things in your home that you don't even need that are taking up space and creating clutter in your life. It's about detaching from that and the resistance of letting it all go. And I can't tell you, you just need to, if you're not, if you're stuck in your life, you need to start clearing out your house. You need to start getting rid of everything that you're not using and go through it. Before um, I actually was in my divorce and um, many years ago, like I spent four years going through my house over and over and over, every time getting rid of more and more and more, never replaced anything. Got to the point there was nothing left but the husband. And so then that was the next phase. So, um, but I have to tell you, we are still friends to this day, and um, I'm very much friends with his new wife, and we've managed to create a beautiful relationship in that dynamic, um, but it was a lot of personal work, and um, I just know that it can happen to harmonize with anyone, any relationship, period. This works with everyone, not just your twin. So this is not just a twin flame phenomenon here. This is everything. So harmonizing yourself, again is the priority and now let's say the twin hasn't came in and was doing all those things and and you need to let go of that rejection and the fear of not having them and on and on but now i'm going to shift gears and say in this rapid timeline they're coming in for you to kind of do the deepest darkest layer within yourself and these things i'm about to tell you kind of as the twins coming in to help with these things these things aren't again aren't linear they're multi-dimensional 
they're all happening at one time and, and where they're happening and how the depths of where they are and the flow of where they're at is dependent upon so many factors, your individual personal self, your own lessons, your mission, where you're at in your free will, how detached are you? How much resistance are you creating? And so now it's about your twin coming in and being the mirror that you've mastered a certain amount of lessons and they've mastered certain lessons. And now when your twin dynamic, you're coming eye to eye to be able to see in them everything that you mastered and to be able to see in them everything that you still need to finalize. And then that is the clearing and the harmony of the harmony that's still blocking you from coming and restoring unit. And I was saying this earlier, but as you I talk about when the dynamic was one way, the old way, the old pattern, you haven't detached from the old pattern. You still think it's going to be that way. You're still afraid of all these things. No, you're breaking that apart. You're working on yourself. You will reharmonize in the new way. But that new way won't be cut and dry, black and white. Oh, honey, do we're ready and we're going to be together. It's going to be we're coming together now to harmonize our own differences that is going to do multiple things at the same time. It's going to finalize our personal work. It's going to pull us together through harmony of the, the dynamic of the balance within our union and reunions here. So union of self and reunion together. And then those things can be directly proportionate or indirectly proportionate to what we're seeing eye to eye in that dynamic in the mirror reflection that I was just referring to. In addition to that is the collective work. And the collective work that's being done in this is we're re-templating new paradigms, new templates to take over all the past programming of the universe and the planet. And we did this collectively, including like down to clearing the seven deadly sins that we are restoring for mankind that has been karma of this universe and the planet. And you know, I have a video and I also have a checklist below that's free or so checklist. If you have not got that, I talk more about those seven deadly sins. It's within the collective clearing that you're doing. Get plugged into that. Start clearing that. It's going to show you the paradigms. That's the part that you're clearing of those um, seven deadly sins. The part your twin is clearing of those seven deadly sins. So you can start to remove that on a collective scale that will need to then harmonize within yourselves harmonize within your union, and it's harmonizing the planet as you then reface new, like, test. You, you're not going back in time now. Now you're being faced with the exact same things you did all this time, but you're coming full circle to do it again, to revisit it in a new way, to handle it in the new template of you, and doing it from a place of heart, soul, and truth. And standing up and speaking up and not giving a flying rat's butt what people think about you. And I've been faced with this a lot myself. And I'm going to tell you, it's been the most empowering thing to come around full circle to the things that was the deepest, darkest places of the paradigms of what I ran from my whole life. Facing with my father, which are, I've said this, our twin send us to the father, our father sends us to the twin. And there's a link between them that is pulling you back around. And that's where the generational curses are coming in. That we're breaking down those belief systems. We're retemplating them. And so we are being forced to face the parents and basically come out of the closet. I've had to do it with my father. Is he, you know, uh, in full acceptance? He's, he accepts me on a level that, um, that as a human being and loves me to death. But it's not like something that he can even go there with my message. And that's okay. But I don't have to hide anymore. I don't, you know, I don't care. It's, there's no more like resistance between us from me. I can be who I am. I can make no apologies for it. I can share, I can express, I don't care what I put on Facebook. In fact, I've been putting more stuff on Facebook that's in more stuff related to my voice you know, um, than ever. So this, in this place, in this harmonization and the return, this rapid return that I'm seeing of twins is coming back right now to heal these generational curses and to harmonize them between the two of you because it's boiling down to these are the ones I'm seeing, religion and Christianity, 
political views, race, culture, sexual preferences, betrayal, because there's a lot of family betrayal that's been going on. And then the other one is to um, being able to, um, trying to feel that something's coming through. Well, it has to do with the fact that we are being asked to go repeat these service, I'm sorry, these experiences in order to retemplate them and to be able to forgive for them. So that's what, what I was feeling was, is like the forgiveness work. So it's like the forgiveness with family, the, the being who you are with family, and that you and your twin are coming in to break that down. I'm gonna give you an example of this being hidden and not being able to tell family because of these differences of religion, culture, um, political views, race, and on, so on, sexual preferences being hidden. And this is creating friction between the dynamic of the twin because they don't want to be hidden. They want to not have to deal with that. And that's forcing the partners to have to go to family and to come open and raw and real to before they can, you know, let the beloved come in and to restore that and be able to clear that for uh, the remainder of you met humanity going forward, which is another new template of break down the patriarchs here. So, and, you know, and I'm just going to tell you just as an example, you know, I have not only the religion and the Christianity aspect from my father, I come from a very racial family, like a, a discriminating racial family. And, and what happens, the reason we're having to restore this and this harmony of come together is because it creates separation. You know, all these things create separation, which is why you're having separation, even with your twin. The religion aspects, the race, the cultures, the, you know, it's all separation. And so um, basically, you know, in that I'm, me and my dynamic is all about the Christianity and the religious belief systems, uh, breaking down those paradigms. And in addition to that, um, I come, as I was saying, from a very racist generational aspect. I, I grew up in an area that there were no black people. And the only one that was there that was at one point in time periodically was through a job corps program that came in. And it, my grandfather was much older, like I barely like knew him up to three and he passed away, but he was 53 when he had my dad. So he goes, dates way back. But in that area, he was head of the KKK in that area, you know? So we're cleansing that for our generation so that when we go forward, that doesn't exist anymore. And so in my dynamic, I am seeing that clear. And I'm also seeing the religion and the Christianity clear. And so find the innocence in this. Know that it is more than the rejection. If you're in the rejection, go to yourself, surrender, let go, get in alignment with you, step into purpose and become more balanced within yourself. And also know that wisdom and knowledge is power. And the more that you can understand what is happening, the more you can stay balanced because the key to this now is going to be staying balanced within yourself to keep all of this balancing, to restore the reunion that you're seeking. And they are happening every day. I am seeing this. So now if you are somebody that's really getting stuck on purpose and you're, you're don't know where to start, and you want to step into that and i'm really this is where a lot of my targets going um to help people and not that i, I have all the other systems too but this is where i'm seeing the most collectively stuck right now so if you are that person i'm going to have a link below that i'm going to be offering until the end of august a um, 60 minute reading connection with me to be able to help you discover what you might need to do and give you resources or options of what, you know, how I might even be able to help you further to be able to help you move forward in that and stop being stuck because this is where the, the holding pattern is. And if you come in after August 30th, um, there'll be, you can still book with me through the link, but I'm offering a $50 off um, one hour session in this link that you'll find below good through um, August 31st of 2018. Otherwise, you can still connect through the website. Okay? 
All right. I hope this has been helpful. Um, get out there. Get into purpose. Make some um, passion in your life and create some heart-centeredness of everything that you love to do. Become that love. Step into love and just let that love resolve all that's blocking you from having everything that you came here to be, do, and have. May you always face your fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Namaste.